follow your dreams, take that leap of faith. And you know what? You also have here clarifying your fool. You have the wheel of fortune, which is quick moving energy. And you have here the nine of pentacles. And with that nine of pentacles whatever this new journey is it is making you feel content it's making you feel plentiful it's making you feel abundant and with that wheel of fortune it's also a reminder on this new journey to embrace any opportunity that change brings because there's a lot of change occurring around you this month. And with that, you need to embrace the opportunity. And then I have here is your potential obstacle or challenge. I have here the two of swords and I have temperance. And with the two of swords and temperance, what that's telling me is either that you're at a crossroads or you need to make a decision or even possibly uh, you're fearful because you don't know what the answer is in a situation. Well, temperance is here reminding you that you need to stay balanced. Don't swing from emotion to emotion. The swords is, an, uh, is you know, a mindset and you don't want to be a loose cannon, especially this month. You want to capitalize on this beautiful energy. Anything where you are going negative here in this obstacle or challenge, that's why you need to be reminded as far as that temperance goes to keep your balance. Don't swing from one extreme to another because any of that is going to slow down the progress of this beautiful, beautiful, quick moving, abundant energy coming towards you. And then I have here uh, clarifying the temperance in the two of swords is the emperor and another temperance. So this is telling you Aquarius, you need it is very important for you through this month of October to maintain your balance. Maintain your balance. Don't fly off the handle. Go from one extreme to another. Pay attention to what you're thinking and then in turn pay attention to what flies out of your mouth because what goes out of your mouth is also a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you want to try so hard to harbor only good thoughts, positive thoughts. You have this beautiful energy here. Think of that. Think about your new journey and what it will bring and create what it's going to bring in your mind like a movie. Make this your go-to rather than being in a place where you feel that your hands are absolutely tied and you can't go anywhere because that's just not true. So what this emperor is clarifying here here is saying, you know what, you just need to get things in order. He's power, he's authority, he's wisdom. And he wants things organized, he's planning, he's setting the rules and the guidelines. This could be for some of you involvement in legal matters, but I'm telling you, if you feel that you are wrongly being, you know, going through something and, and, and it's wrong. You need to keep the faith. You need to keep the faith because it will be illuminated. It will be illuminated. So don't stay stuck in this swords mindset to where you feel like you have nothing else that you can do. There is certainly something you can do. And it starts right there with just lifting off that blindfold look around you, go within. If you have to, I mean, your best answer is to go within because everything will be illuminated. But this double temperance here in your obstacle position is a, a is, it's a kind of a warning to you, Aquarius, to stay balanced. Walk away. If somebody is bothering you and you know what comes out of your mouth is not going to be good, just walk away. Don't allow thoughts in your head that are not serving you and also don't allow the words coming out of your mouth that don't serve you this month because this is the time to go within, harness all of your faith, muster up all of your faith, remember who you are. You are a child of the Most High God and God's got you. God has 
you and you have a beautiful new beginning coming that you need to take this leap of faith you have opportunities all around you these are even small miracles this is a turning point in your life and you feel so abundant you feel so plentiful you feel the luxury you your struggle is over it's time to celebrate so this could be something that's got you, uh, it could be something, you know, if something is pretty challenging that's going on in your life right now, that's happening, know behind the scenes, your angels have you, God has you, they have this, so there's nothing else you can do, think, or say that's going to make this any better. So it's time for you to shift your focus, gently shift it onto something that's a little lighter or something that is allowing you to bring about this beautiful outcome. Because what you're feeling, what your outcome is this month, you have the Ace of Cups. This could be new love coming into you. It could be a new beginning. And it also can certainly be where you are removing your emotional baggage out of your life, getting rid of what does not serve you. And with that, it makes you feel complete, like you are on top of the world. You are feeling it. It is, you are also, so to clarify that, it is celebrating. You have the three of cups here, clarifying that it's a celebration. And it could be a celebration with family members. It could be a celebration with friends, but you are celebrating. And then you have also the hermit, which is uh, in your outcome as well. And with that hermit is spiritual reflection. It's introspection. And, you know, he's retreating from the world and going through a self-discovery. Get to know your own inner voice. You are searching the world for answers and could even be answers for this. You are searching the world, this little tiny fly, little buggy, get out. Um, you, I, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Um, you are searching for answers in the world, but your answers lie within. So please take a moment, take a moment, step back because you're, answers will be illuminated to you. You need to meditate and reflect in silence. And in return, you gain all the wisdom, all the wisdom you need about this. But just get whatever it is that you can physically do. Because what I'm feeling is, you know, we can only control what we can control. Anything that's out of our control, there's no reason to worry about it. Because in that situation, you have to know God's got it because it's out of your control. So be positive. Ask your angels, ask God, ask whoever it is that you pray to. Thank them for being there, knowing that they've got you. You are on a whole brand new journey this month and you have blessings and you have good fortune and you have a turning point. This is a whole change. This is you finding your purpose as well. So take advantage of this brand new opportunity here, Aquarius. Take advantage of this brand new opportunity. Take that leap of faith. Have a childlike faith in this whole thing. Just believe, 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 believe. And that is your key word for the month. Believe, believe. And then in addition, stay balanced believe and stay balanced and just know have this uh, just a sense of God's got me and you can be like that yeah take that leap God's got you so you have such beautiful energy this week I'm gonna pull from the Archangel Power Tarot and see what else what other advice they have to give Thank you, angels, archangels, spirits, and spirit guides, all from pure and divine love and light only. And this one flipped right over. And it says, your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. You've got this, Aquarius. You're doing what you're supposed to do. The only hindrance or whatever would slow you down. And again, your thoughts create instant dividends. Um, 
as well as the words that come out of your mouth. So please stay positive as far as this adversity here goes. There's always a lesson and there's always a blessing and you are on your way to finding it. And then I have here the nine of Michael and it's reaffirming what I just said. Your worry is unnecessary. You need to focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire. Don't you desire this new twist of fate and new leap of faith that you're going to be taking that's making you just feel the fruits of your labor and you're feeling abundance and your cup overflows and you're on top of the world and you're celebrating yes that's what you focus on it says your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels ask your angels to come in they will guide you you release that worry to them the sooner the better Aquarius the sooner the better and then I have here the chariot and it says determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others so whatever this is you are determined you will have the success you will bring it to completion and it is uh through your own determination and self-control. And by self-control, I do believe in your reading for this month, that is a big one as well. And it is telling me it's about what you think, have control over what you think, and have control over what comes out of your mouth, Aquarius. Very important this month. And then I have here the three of Ariel. It says, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. And that could also go, you know, it's very important to do what you love because doing what you love makes you feel uh happy and makes you feel joy which in turn brings more joy and makes your thoughts have you know be more happy and joyful along with uh, what comes out of your mouth and that is just so powerful what's coming through for you for this uh, you know for this month is what comes out of your mouth and what comes out of your head so what you're thinking and what you're saying is what you really need to pay attention to but do what you love and uh, well you're maybe waiting on something or you're stuck here, uh, which you're really not stuck. But while you're waiting on this, in the meantime, do what you love. This is a time for personal growth and development. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Don't waste your time. Don't let this, don't let this delay you any further. And then I have here the seven of Ariel and it says you've invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. And I think also where the review your progress, like take a look back, see how everything went. Do that from the hermit standpoint. Do that from an a introspection. Um, do that review from, from within and uh, do it while you're meditating and allow the divine to just pop up uh, things that you may need to uh, recognize at the same time so that would be very beneficial and let's see i'm going to switch over to your daily guidance from your angels oracle cards see what other messages they have for you and i'm telling you aquarius this month you've got this you just need to pay attention to what's coming out of your head what's coming out of your mouth and stay balanced keep that balance and allow yourself to enjoy this new journey new twist of fate new sense of abundance new cup runneth over new love where your heart just overflows new sense of completion new celebration introspection all of that good stuff that's what you want to be celebrating and paying attention to the adversity itself has a lesson in it for you but in a blessing and you will get it you will get it by going within and meditating and I have here be honest with yourself look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation it is safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself focus uh, only upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angels wings so when you stop focusing on this adversity here 
and start focusing on this beauty that's here, it will just come right in. It will come right in so quickly. You need to get your mind off of the adversity and allow yourself to believe and allow yourself to know that you have these beautiful things that are right here for you. And then I have here family. And it says the situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround that person yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels be open to the gift within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace and that is your answer aquarius on whatever this challenge is this month that is that's what you need to do play that over and over again read that save that little snippet download the video do what you need to do because that is what you need to do to propel yourself forward and get into this quick moving energy. You need to get out of a stale mindset. You need to let this go. It is not serving you. And you need to know that if you are un, you know, like if you are wrongly, if you're in a situation, I don't want to say wrongly accused because I'm not feeling necessarily that, but if something is not right and you just feel stuck in this situation because any like member of authority doesn't have the right information or the right facts or they're not seeming to look at something, that's where you need to say your prayers and you just say, thank you, God. Thank you for allowing these people, this person, to see the truth and believe that it's done and let it go because God's got you and so do your angels. And then here I have ask. Ask is to ask us to help you with the situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and one of them is free will. So that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. In other words, your angels are saying, ask us. We will help you. Like I said, thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you for getting to the right people and letting them know that this is wrong. There's something wrong here. And then once you release it to them, you need to believe and then in that belief, let it go and take your leap of faith. Allow this good energy to come in because you have other good energy in other areas of this reading and you don't want to pass it up. You don't want to slow it down. Wherever your mind is, is what is going to be coming to you. So you need to make your mind be on the success, be on the knowing, knowing that God's got you. God's got this. He's got it. So reminder here, you need to ask your angels because of your own free will. They can't just pop in and do anything you need done. They need to be invited in. So ask them to come and help you. They will gladly help you with this situation. And they're just reminding us within this. And I can tell you, this is about this adverse situation. You need to remember to maintain your balance this month. You also need to remember that whatever this is, God's got it. He's taking care of it. It's being done. It's being done behind the scenes and you can't see it. So your choice is you could believe in the fear and make up your own mind or make up your own scenario of how this is going to really play out in the end. Or you can go the faith route, which is also something you can't see, and you can create the ending that you want. 